Hi, welcome back to McClutchy Maths. My name is Natalie McClutchy and today we are continuing our series on 2023's external exams in Queensland. We are looking at paper one short response questions now and this is a bivariate data question for general mathematics. There's only one question today and it's question 22 with four marks. Let's get straight into it. A person used a fitness tracker to monitor the hours of sleep and the distance they travel each day. And we can see this in here. Part A tells us that they want us to have distance as the response variable. And that's how they want us to display the data. They're going to ask us to draw a scatter plot here with labeled axes. Now, because they've told us distance is the response variable, we know that straight away that's going to go onto the y-axis. So the order here, this is the x-axis and this is the y-coordinates down here. So that's um, helpful information. Let's get started by drawing in some axes here. And we're going to label up those um, using distance as our response variable. So we can see we've put that on the y-axis there. And this is our explanatory variable down here. Easiest way to remember is explanatory starts with EX, X for X axis. So that's our first mark that we've been awarded there, correctly identifying the correct axis for the response variable. So now our next step is that we need to actually mark up these axes with some numbers. And this is where a little bit of planning goes into play. We don't necessarily have to start at zero if we don't want to. We could start um, just after or just before our, sorry, our our smallest number which is six so we could technically start over here at the number five and if we did that we'd have to draw a, like a little lightning bolt through the axis to represent the break but today what we're going to do is we've got the room we're just going to go up from zero and same over here we, we didn't have to start at zero here we could have started say at three but we've just started at zero just to make it easier and because we've got our numbers and they're evenly spaced, so we're going up in ones and the same space is used for each of those, that's a very important thing called scaling the axes. And something that people don't understand what they're doing here is they will typically mark that as number seven, mark that as number five, and then put a dot there. And then mark that as 7.5 and then mark that as seven and put a dot there. And that's a completely incorrect way to graph. So we actually need to go up in correct amounts of increments with the same spacing between those. Now, because we've done that and we've got our axes label, we get our second out of three marks. So we're almost all the way there. Um, now it's time to actually start plotting. So our first point is seven, five. That's our coordinates, we read down. So we go across seven and then up five. That gives us our seven, our first point. Our next point is going to be 7.5 and seven. So we're coming across halfway there and up to seven. Our next point is eight and five and so on. We can plot all of those points in there one by one. And we're going to get our third mark for accurately plotting the points. So that's three marks out of four. We're nearly there. Now we've got part B for this particular paper identifying the direction of the association between the hours of sleep and the distance traveled. So what direction is this scatter plot trending? Well, if it was trending um, with, as the x-axis gets bigger, the y-axis gets bigger and it was trending in that direction, we would say that was positive. However, this is as these numbers get bigger, um, it's trending in that direction there. So pointing back towards the y-axis means the direction is negative, which gives us our fourth and final mark for this paper. Well, did you find this video helpful? I sure hope so. Please don't forget to engage with us. You could like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when the next video is ready for viewing. You could tell someone about that. You could share the video. You could pop it in your class OneNote or tell a friend or a family member. There's also the feature now on YouTube called Super Like. You can find that with the dot, dot, dot. And if you click on that, you can give back to the channel for the time that it's saved you and for the way that's helped you. You could give a dollar or two, which would really help us with managing the costs of the channel. And you could also follow us on social media. We're on Facebook and Instagram. Don't forget, if you've got any questions whatsoever, you can contact us at mcclutchymass at yahoo.com. It's the best way to get a decent response to your answer rather than writing in the comments. The comments are just there for short little things and it's not meant to be this thread that goes on and on forever. It's just meant to be something quick. Whereas an email, we can definitely stay in touch and help you with any questions that you've got. Don't forget to jump onto our partner's website, exam-insights.com. This is your one-stop shop for all of the 2023 and previous year's exams and exam solutions. It's a wonderful free resource for students and teachers. 
you so much for watching today. My name is Natalie McClatchy. Stay tuned for our next video from Paper One coming up very shortly. Have a great day.